Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can implement dagger hilt. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert record using the room database. Also, how can how you retrieve the record from the room database. Also, we are going to use the view model. So I'll show you how you can use view model with the hilt. So let's begin by adding the dependencies. So first dependency, we need the hilt android this com.google.dagger second dependency we need help android compiler same com.google.dagger next dependency we need lifecycle extension that is for our view model As I said, we are going to use room, so I am adding room runtime. Also, room compiler. And we need to add one more dependency. So that is Hilt Android Gradle plugin. Now let's check our uh, build.gradle file. So, first thing we need to do with this Gradle plugin we added here, we need to cut this from the module uh, build.gradle file. And open our project level Gradle file and paste it here and change this change implementation to the class path. Now we need to go back to our module level uh, Gradle file and change this compiler dependencies to the capped one for health and one for room compiler. And since we are using capped so we need to apply that plugin so here we need to define kotlin hyphen capped second plugin we need kotlin android extension that is to just import the layouts and another plugin we need dagger dot dot android dot plugin So this is necessary step now sync and let's see so our project is sync now so first thing we need to create a separate package where we are going to keep our database related files and now i'm creating a kotlin file for our application database so you can pass any name and as you have seen in many videos like when we creating a database when we are implementing room so we need to define it as abstract and we need to extend with room database and we need to annotate it with the keyword database and inside this we need to pass the entities so currently we don't have any entity so I'm leaving it empty and since this is the first time database we are creating so I am defining version number 1 and inside this companion object block we need to define the instance of app database make it a nullable and then we will be creating a separate function which is going to return the instance of this app database class And the first parameter it needs the application context, second parameter the class.
क्लास फाइल एंड थर्ड पैरामीटर इज द नेम ऑफ अवर डेटाबेस सो यू कैन पास एनी नेम then since our uh, db instance is nullable so we make it forcefully nullable and now we need to define a function which is going to return the dao but we don't have any dao so let's create a dao first that is over the interface so i'm giving a name as app dao we'll annotate it as the dao and then we'll define our query here to retrieve the record from the db so i'll write the query select start from so we need the table name so for table name we can get it from the entity so let's create the entity first so i'm giving the name as user entity and now i'm annotating it as the entity and we'll pass the table name what table name we want to keep for this so i'm giving the name user and inside table what kind of the columns we want so i just want one column as id that is going to be the auto increment or auto generated and the second parameter i need uh, name as name we can keep the name as name the column name is as the name and that is going to be the string type so our entity is ready and table name is the user so we'll use the same name as the table name we pass in the entity and then order by id as description so that newly added records can come on the top and then we'll define a function and its return type and in this dao we need another function for insert a record and that's going to take as the input user entity and now we'll define this dao inside our app database So our database class is ready now. Now I'm creating a another package for dagger uh, injection and creating a object type class that is the module app module. And I'm annotating this as a module. And then we need a small change here as dagger two and the dagger held. So we need to annotate is with the add the rate install in and the singleton component. So you might have seen a lot of um, blogs and the videos like some people use application component, but that is deprecated in 2.29 and removed from the 2.30. So that's the reason we need to use here as the singleton component. Now I'm creating a function that is going to return the instance of database but just need the context so I'm defining the context here and it will and uh, another function that is going to return the DAO app DAO it need the database and app db dot get DAO there you go so our app module is ready now we need to create a separate class that is going to be the repository that is the new step in in the dagger 2 we don't need that so but here we need the repository class and we need to inject its constructor and we'll pass the app down and then we can directly make the query what queries we made directly from the view model so we need to go through with the repository and 
and similarly to insert the record inside the Roam DB, we'll creating another function here. that's it for this room repository now we need a view model as we need to access this repository in the view model as i said we are going to apply mvvm here so we need the view model so here view model also need to be inject constructor and then we'll pass the repository here So now we can directly access this repository inside our view model. And the most important part of our view model is we need to annotate our view model with the hilt view model. And now we have the instance of repository so we can directly access those function. But before that we need to define our view model, sorry live data of list that is user entity type and inside our init block we need to initialize our live data and as usual we will create a function which is going to return this live data to write the observer in our main activity And now we need to call a function from the main activity that is load record and this load record will call repository dot get records and it will return and it will make a post value call to our live data and similarly we need to create another function for insert record And same way repository dot insert record and we'll pass our user entity. So when we uh, load our activity at that time we want to show the record so that's the reason I calling from the init block and the after insert a record I'm making a database call so I'm like uh, can show the updated records in, in our UI. Now another class we need our application class as we do it in the dagger 2 as well we'll extend it with the application and but we need to annotate this class as health android app so that's all for this class we don't need to override on create function or we need we don't need any component here so that is done by automatically with the health so since we have created application class, so we need to register in the manifest as well. And now we'll write our code in the main activity. So I have already uh, done the layout part. But before that, we need to annotate this main activity as the Android entry point. I have already created this layout so this is edit text I have already added where we are going to take the input from the user a button that is save button and the text view to just retrieve the result from the database and displayed on it so let me handle the save button click Based on this save button click we'll insert a record in our database and then we'll retrieve the data uh, data from the database and displayed on the text view Now we need uh, to access the view model to call the insert record function. So let's initialize our view model first.
and we'll all write the on change function and here we'll display the results on our text here we'll make a for each loop to our list of records and then we will append it on the text here with slash n so you can use a uh, recycler view here if you want but i'm just making this video short and i will on the save button call will call view model insert record function with the user entity and we'll call this view init view model function from our on create function so now review it first of all we created a database class then we created a DAO as usual we need for the room where we write our query and the user entity the table name and the column in our table then we created a, a room repository which we inject the constructor here and then we created the app module as an object and then we define it as the singleton component and then we created a application class and then we annotated it the health android app then we created a view model here we define the health view model and inject our repository and then at last we are just simply accessing our view model and make our activity as the android entry point and then we retrieve the data and then display it on the application so when i am running i am seeing some errors so i think we missed something let's check what we are missing so let's go to your database class uh, i see it did not define our entity inside our database class so i am defining it now we missed this step let's run it again and see it's still error so it is asking us to define our export scheme as false for our database let's run it now again it's still one error it's not compiling what we missed inside our module mm. Okay, so this should not be the contact, this should be the application. So we can access directly the application instance inside our module. Let's run it and see. So we are able to successfully run this application. Now let's insert some record. One, we are able to insert and retrieve two. So see guys we are successfully able to implement health in today's video so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you.